All right, guys, in this video, we're going to talk about what do you do on an appointment, right? So I get a lot of questions from students who are afraid to set appointments because they don't know what to do when they get there, all right? So this video is going to be short and sweet because it's not that hard to go run an appointment, and there's a couple things that you should do to make your life easy. So let's jump right in. When you are setting an appointment, you always want to make sure that the seller is going to be there to meet you, if possible. The reason is, is you want to be talking with the decision maker. If they can't make it, no problem. Go view the property. But if they are able to make it, uh, make sure that you get them there. Do your best, right? Next, when you go and you show up, don't park in the driveway. Park on the street, all right? Just show a little respect for the property unless there is no street parking and it's on a major road then of course park in the driveway for safety but i always will park on the street in front of the house or even across from the house that way they can see me coming i used to have magnets on the side of my car but i actually removed those i still have them in my trunk sometimes i'll use them sometimes i won't the reason i don't use them occasionally is because the the, the neighbors of the sellers often um you know, don't want to be informed. Like, like the seller doesn't want to tell the neighbor that they're selling. So in some cases, I will have those magnets. In other cases, I won't. Once I get to the property, my goal, my number one goal is to just make a friend. It's so incredibly simple. Smile big, ask a lot of questions, and listen. Do your absolute best to listen to the seller. Do not be rushed. One of the main things that I do when I'm on an appointment is I try to get to the why. Why are you needing to sell? If you are not able to get to the why, then ask when. The when will always reveal the why. So what do I mean? Um, hi, Mr. or Mrs. Seller. You know, why do you need to sell today or why are you wanting to sell today? And they may say, well, it's not your business. No problem. Next, ask them when do they need to close. And if they say they need to close by next Friday or else they're going to lose their car and something else that they own, well, boom, you've just revealed the why, okay? So make a friend, ask why, ask when, and then also walk the property with the seller. Typically, the seller um, is going to have lived in the property or have known a lot about the property. So get that information from them. Ask them, you know, when the last time it had been updated and how old that water heater or that um, HVAC is. Take a ton of pictures. I mean, I'm talking 80, 100, sometimes as many as 150 pictures. I take pictures with my phone. I don't even bring a special camera. There's no need to. And then once you have those pictures, upload those into either Dropbox or Google Photo or Google Drive so you have a simple link that you can share with your cash buyers or add to your CRM. When you are on your appointment, I recommend you bring some sort of a credibility packet, at a minimum, some business cards. Always bring a contract. Probably the most important lesson in this entire video is bring a contract and be prepared before you go. Know your comps. Your goal on the appointment is to make a friend and to determine those repairs. So you can determine what your maximum allowable offer is. You then have a contract. Give the contract to the seller. Sit down at the table. Talk about you know, why you want to buy this house. Learn why they want to sell this house. Pull out your contract. Explain to them that it's not you versus them. This offer is not supposed to be low or insulting. However... You are a real estate investor and you don't pay retail, right? So you have to learn how to buy at a discount. But in exchange for that discount, we are going to provide a crazy high level of convenience. So change the mindset. This is no longer you versus me now. Instead, it is you and me versus the market. So maybe you bring comps or you can pull comps up when you're on the appointment to show the seller. This is what the fixed up homes in the area are selling for, okay? So we could say yours is similar or not. We're going to minus 
or, or add or subtract some cost um, or some value to the property depending on how it comps out. Next, we're going to determine the repairs. And I love bringing the seller around the house with me so I can point out all the things that need to be repaired or updated. Now, I'm not trying to be nitpicky. That's going to go against me making a friend. But instead, I will get them to acknowledge that certain things in the house are old or are dated, and they do need to be either updated or touched in some way. We then can determine what the cost of those repairs are. And that's it, guys. You are there to get pictures, make a friend, bring a contract, and hopefully leave with a signed contract, right? But while you are there, do everything in your power to build as much rapport and make a friend as quickly as possible and truly make a friend. Don't just be nice and get in and out. Reason is, is most deals don't close the same day we're on appointments. They are going to require follow-up. They're going to require weeks and or months of you following up. And if you did a great job making a friend on that initial appointment, you are going to be able to follow up with them with no questions asked, and they're going to answer your calls. If you are in and out and you're rude and you don't make a friend, A, they're probably not going to work with you, and B, they're probably not going to want to take your calls after they have saved your number in the phone and they know that you are you. So, guys, when it comes to running appointments, keep it simple. Make a friend, take a lot of pictures, and you are there to determine your repair estimates as well as get a contract. But if you can't get that contract, hopefully you have made a new friend that you can follow up with and they will be happy you are calling. When it comes to running appointments, guys, it is so incredibly simple. Do not overthink it. Just get your butt out there, meet people, bring a smile, bring a contract, and make a friend. And that's it. I hope you guys learned how to run an appointment in this video because it is simple and there's really nothing more to talk about. Keep it simple, get out there, run appointments, and you will be doing deals in no time.